y'all. Lauren Cannon back again, sharing all things homeschool, education, supporting your learner, everything under the sun that you might need to homeschool or teach or to teach online, all those goodies. So I'm back again today with Logic of English. I'm going to share with you level B now. I've already created a video for A, so go check that out if you haven't already. And I created an unboxing of a levels A through C because those are the foundations levels. There's also level D that I've not gotten yet. I'm going too soon. And also um, the essentials are the next step up from that. So, and I explain all the reasons as to why I'm already buying this even though I only have a two year old. <laughs> um, in those videos, you can see that. So I won't go through that again today and bore you with those details, but I do want you to know, I will link, do my best to link everything below for you guys. I don't benefit in any way, shape, or form from those links. <laughs> um, unless it says affiliate, and I am not an affiliate with Logic English. I wish I was, though, because I talk about them all the time. Like, all the time, because they're so awesome. And I tell you why I chose this in the other videos. So, again, I won't bore you with the details of that. Go check out why in those videos, but it's very important. Super duper important. Like, I did not just go, oh, that works. I'm going to do that because somebody else did that. No, I research, I base it off my daughter's needs, my needs, <laughs> the whole shebang. I go through the content, I check for Common Core, which in the teacher's manual you will see. So let's start there. So again, this is level B, so this is the second level in foundation. There's an online assessment for you to determine where your child will be when they start. You can technically skip to the level that you think your child should be at. So that's why I'm separating these out into each level, but technically I'm starting at A because my daughter's not had any homeschooling yet other than just kind of here and there learning. But um, you can do that and see where your learner should be placed and what to purchase. All right, so this is your scope and sequence. So yes, starting here, um, they start with lesson 41. So they put things in the order they think you should teach it in. And I'm going through and I'm going to ch double check all of this because I have a, I'm very particular about that as well, developmentally. <laughs> I think certain things should be taught certain times. So it tells you when to assess, what page you're going to be on, what's, what you're covering, a lot of lowercase, uppercase review from, which level A does a little bit of this. So it definitely is like a, okay, pick up from where we left off thing in the beginning. And... There you go, and it tells you what workbook page goes with it. And feel free to pause this, to mute me, whatever you need to do, because this video is truly just to help you guys. These kind of videos are what helped me decide what I was getting. Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you, my daughter is very visual, kinesthetic, and as far as a learner goes, um, from what I've been doing, if you hear that noise, that's my dog snoring. <laughs> Mojo! <laughs> He's in here with me. Um throwing away while I make videos. That must be just so exciting that he is sleeping. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I went kind of fast on that. Sorry, guys. There you go. I do have class coming, so I may have to chop this a little bit. But again, pause this, take a picture, do what you need to do to make sure it covers what you're thinking you'll be covering or to see what your child needs. Or if you're using this for class, what your class will need. Whatever it is, you need. Quotation marks. There's your list of high frequency words. Here's your phonograms or phonograms, however you want to say it. And then materials needed for each lesson, they break that down on those pages. And I'm not going to go into detail because you'll know once you get this. And it's pretty much what it comes with um, your sets. Now, A, level A, you get everything. And I've showed you guys these cards, this handwriting stuff. Um, I did not show you the little read aloud books. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention that for A, so I'm going to show you them now. I don't remember which ones go with which. But it has everything there. There might be some read aloud books you want to purchase on the side if you want to, to add to it. But it comes with everything. So there you go. There's your Common Core Standards. For each lesson and again I won't go through detail on that but this is kindergarten more kindergarten I think A is kind of pre-k kindergarten and this is more kindergarten slash kindergarten first but they say to start four to seven years old with foundation so there you go and then this is what B is for distinguished 
Students who have not mastered these skills should start with A. You can distinguish between consonant sounds, vowel sounds, auditory prompt, CBC words, so on and so forth. Spelling comprehension. Additional required skills, so feel free to pause it there and check off what you think. But there is an assessment online, so don't feel like you got to go by just this um, to see what they know or don't know before they begin. So here you go. The two-letter phonogram, Q-U, qua, qua. Vowel sounds you can sing. And then it has what flashcards, multi-sensory phone, and challenges. There's tons of pages where there's like teacher tips, speech tips. All, it tells you the exact script. Can you sing this? Now I will show you to mark the short vowel sound. So on and so forth. So you get the feel for what those are going to be like. It adds the handwriting lessons. You're not required to do them, but it does have that in the workbook. And then there's your next lesson. And again, you can break these up into half days, half a lesson a day, or a whole lesson a day, or five lessons a day. And you see all these things that support you, tells you what to pull out of the workbook, so on and so forth. And then you get a feel. Spelling, handwriting, comprehension lesson after lesson and it's so awesome you guys and I've heard of people taking one set and being like okay this is going to be a two-year thing for us it's just going to take longer it's just what it is so here's your workbook see how colorful it is you get flashcards in it there's a little more reading in this one than there is in the level a because a is your beginner there's still handwriting you choose if you want manuscript or cursive for your handwriting um, it is two-sided, so I've considered copying it. I haven't fully decided that to make it single page. We'll see what I do. I don't know yet. I haven't planned everything yet, but I love it. And your assessments are in the workbook itself. So there's a desk chart. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. <laughs> I haven't even gotten into B yet, so <laughs> I've been like, ooh, I wonder what else in here. And in the back of A, there were some readers, and B does not have that, but it does have a lot of reading throughout, so it definitely makes up. For that I was hoping if there's an assessment. See how the assessments match what they're going to be seeing in the workbook. So it's testing them based on how they learn. Now she'll know it's an assessment because obviously it says that up there. But we're not focusing on grades. We're going to focus more on what did you learn? What do we need to review? All right, so here's the little readers that come with them. They're really cute. There's two sets for B. Um, and they have read aloud books that look very similar. So I think they might be the same thing. But this just gives you an idea of what to see in them. And then these, I think one of these is for level A, and I forgot to mention it, <laughs> so I'm just going to show them all to you in this video. So tips for enjoying knitting nights. Um, help children develop these sound tips. Er, I'm sorry for the glare. Birds twirl in skirts and shirts. Er, turkeys, surfing hurricanes, so on and so forth. So you get the idea, but it's really colorful and fun. That's a good review. You could do this multiple times a week. You could have you do it, then we do it together, then they do it, all kinds of things. Here's Doodling Dragons. And it tells you which ones go with which. I just, for time's sake, I'm just going to show them to you. About certain levels, I think this is the level A book here. The Doodling Dragons. Could be wrong. And then B was probably Knitting Nights. And whistling because it goes with what they learn. And then here's Whistling Wills Beyond the Sounds of ABCs. Logic of English. Think about this. Sheepish sharks washing ships. Say that a hundred times. <laughs> all kinds of cool stuff, you guys. And I would go a long ways, but I've made all the other part of the video up or up and down, and I don't want to mess you guys up. So there you go, you get the feel. So that is your B set, and then over here is all the stuff you get with A if you buy the whole A set, and you can buy that set separately if you need it to go with B, because you will carry them through each set. So there you have it, friends, and now I'm going to go make your C video. Hope you have a good night.